Good? Yeah. All right. My name is Jay. I own Blackout Signs and Metalworks in San Marcos, Texas. Uh, we work out here in the country in an old barn. Um, Blackout is a uh, 1960s metal fabrication and sign shop. I mean, handmade in the shade is one of the things we kind of throw around. There's no computer-aided machines, routers, cutters, anything. It's all done by hand. Old signs that you see that are hanging up in cities that have been there since the 40s and 50s, there's a reason they're still hanging. And then there's also a reason that your strip mall sign is falling apart and uh, looks like a piece of shit. Building stuff by hand, inherently you're gonna have mistakes. That's the type of stuff that I feel gives work a little bit of soul. The little screw ups, the little line that's just a little bit off, but it's more alive than something that's computer perfect. Plus we can't afford those other fucking machines. <laughs> I was 14 or 15. I have no idea what I was doing, you know, just winging it with the wrong paint and the wrong brushes and just the, the shit in my head wasn't coming out how I thought it's supposed to look like, but you know, you just kept trying. So I lied my way into my first sign job. You know, I'm a sign painter. I have a little kit here with brushes and paint in it. I learned quick, you know, when you lie to get into a job, spend a lot of time just fixing the stuff that I fucked up during the day after hours. And then and once I figured out that you could put neon on top or light bulbs onto these signs, it was like Pandora's box opening. In my free time, I was making signs. So I would make the sign can blanks, put them on Craigslist, you know, and sell them for super cheap. So someone would call and I'd be like, well, hey, I can paint whatever you want on there. And if you want, I can put neon on there too. And so it was like hustling straight. So we ended up doing Spider House and uh, three or four pretty prominent Austin businesses because he found these cheap sign cans on Craigslist and then this dude who could light them up. So I just, fuck this, I'm gonna just do my own thing and uh, called everybody I knew and whatever you need, maybe we can build it and we'll figure it out. The shop's paid for, you know, this is my lifetime collection of tools. Every dime I've ever had I've spent on car parts, tools, or drugs, or alcohol. Um, but, uh, you know, you can't hang a bag of cocaine on the wall. It goes really quick. I'm fascinated at the simplicity of old tools and how simple they could be, you know? That shear, there's 60, 70 years old. You know, this is from World War II. All this stuff is old, but it's solid. So, you know, like any good old um, business starts, you know, we started in the garage behind our house, and, you know, it was just me and my welding table and my welder. We had a really lucky break. Red Bull had found us somehow, and it was when they were doing one of their flu togs in Austin. And so they wanted this job done in 24 hours. Well, nobody in Austin would touch it. Someone gave them our phone number. <coughs> Fuck yeah, come on down. We'll get it figured out. And so they flew two of their designers out to this garage behind this house in San Marcos and told us what they wanted done. And so, yeah, we had modified one of the flutog planes to look like it had crashed into the side of the iron cactus. I guess we did a good job because they called us back and they kept calling us back and they kept throwing stuff at us. These guys pulled off the impossible, you know, and we did, everybody else shunned us and said it couldn't be done and we made it happen. The ethic has always been like, if that's your deadline, then we'll meet it. You know, we never miss the deadline and we never will.
you know, we're going on 10 years now of uh, being a business. It's a family shop and, you know, we all take care of each other. My wife, God bless her heart, you know, we wouldn't be here without her help. I'd have sank this shop 10 times if it was up to me. You know, she's the one that's kept the book straight and told me what bills needed to be paid when and to who so I can keep coming out here and playing in my workshop. <laughs> because I'm not a businessman. You know, I like building stuff. When you love what you do, it makes the day go by quicker. Do work better than you think you're capable of. Strive for that goal, you'll make it in whatever you're doing. If you go into it with that attitude, you'll do some shit and people will notice. And they may not notice as soon as you think they should or on your timeline or whatever, but um, they will notice. Fest, yeah, but y'all blew up my fucking ostrich. Which was rad. <laughs> <laughs>